Hot on the heels with the attraction release, well it's not exactly an absolute success for BDO's first attempt on group instance dungeon, but anyway today in Global Labs update, Corsair class Awakening was teased. It's been almost a month since the release of the class and as per usual timeline we should be getting it in a few weeks from now. Two weeks at the very least I think. So the Corsair Awakening seems to be still using a sword, a great disappointment to many who wish for a pistol or gunner class. But as PA mentioned before, Gunner class is least likely to happen. And as shown in the silhouette, she's standing tall with a sword in hand. And it looks to be more straight than her current Maraca. But wait, there's more. She also has a cannon. And not just the Berserker's Mega Man cannon, but a whole actual thing. You know, the one that you used in Node Wars? However, sadly the Corsair will not be directly using this cannon. As it says, Corsair is preparing to awaken. The image is not Corsair's weapon, so whose weapon is it? We look forward seeing many of you. Seeing many of you. Well, that could be saying about the players using Corsair's awakening, but it could possibly be a clue on many people using this weapon. Well, we can't exactly call them people, as we all know Corsair's crew is composed of the fearsome authors, and Corsair's awakening could likely be her going back to her crew and summoning them when needed. Providing backup fire, backup cannon fire while doing her usual melee attacks. Or it could be even more crazy if she actually goes a lakunka, summoning her ship in the land. And as we all know, ship on land is already a known technology in BDO. And ship has a cannon, so why not? But kidding aside, yes, it could most likely be otters manning this cannon and appearing whenever she calls for them. Let me know what you are thinking. Put it down in the comment section below. Aside from that, another change will definitely excite many people as well, especially those who are maining the newer classes. The walk momentum has finally been corrected, or rather, removed. When you move forward or sideward, these new classes will now stop as soon as you stop pressing the button, which many people has been complaining for quite so long already. But being an awakened Valkyrie for so long though, I have been very used to this. But anyway, this is still indeed a welcome change for many. Then the next update is pretty amazing thing again. Seems like the cleansing capability of Underfoe has came in too late, as you can now exchange Blackstones directly to fail stacks. Yes, I repeat, Blackstones to fail stacks directly. It can go from plus 5 stacks up to 30 stacks, with the 30 stacks requiring 84 Blackstones to make. Well. Seems like my plus 20 advice of Vox will be not so useful anymore. Underblood enhancing days will be a thing of the past. So buy all those black stones in the marketplace, as those will surely start to increase in value again. Well those has been pretty major updates, so let's look in the other minor updates that might interest you as well. The rocks during the phase 2 fight in the final boss in Ataraction has been reduced in numbers, and their damage as well. Which is a good thing as those were absolutely annoying and caused untimely death for so many times already. Then the reset time for weekly quests has been changed. Instead of having weeklies reset 7 days after you last completed the quest, all weekly quests will now instead reset on Thursday. I did not see the weekly seasonal quest included, but sure hope it does. Anyway, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Peace!